peace love and balance everybody peace love and balance y'all happy monday it's lunar day happy lunar day i gotta use the right terminology happy lunar day y'all which is the moon day and it is a dark day that's why they call it mad monday and all that stuff because it's the moon day and the moon is a dark energy so on a monday sometimes you're in a funk you're in the you got to add to for no reason like it's monday you know what i'm saying that's why it's like is that, is that think that's what they call doomsday so it has naturally because the moon is dark a very dark energy so dark energy experience make you deal with sadness you know trauma that you haven't been thinking about or facing this is every monday you know financial burdens you in it makes you think about all the negative things going on right now and not focus on the positive things and that's when you have to fight all right that's when you have to fight baby this is the day that spiritual warfare is up all right so by the way if you don't know me i am isha the guys of wisdom also known as guys on the rise the father holy queen the copper queen bringing this sacred energy change two 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 y'all so yeah y'all been feeling that and i've been feeling it too that's nothing i'm I, uh if you don't know i've been telling people i'm very empathic i'm an empath and I also stand tuned with the universe. So if it's raining outside, I feel it too. If it's thundering outside, depending on the type of thunder the energy is giving, it can give a, you know, fight or flight energy. You know what I'm saying? With thunder or, you know, and some of y'all, you know, the weather makes you feel good and sexual. Like me, I like thunderstorms. So when I see a thunderstorm, it makes you want to, you know, boo up or something like it. This is booed up weather too. This is booed up weather too. And for some of us that don't have a boo during this rainy time, that's tough stuff, all right, for some of us. And if, you, you, if you're a sentient being, which is somebody that could perceive feelings, yes, it's tough for you. And if you're a death-eating vampire or something, then this, this won't affect you at all whatsoever, okay? But yes, this is the type of weather, what they say, cuddling weather and all that stuff. So you probably, been, if you don't have a spouse or a partner, you could be feeling lonely and sad about that. You could be wondering... Things like, this, why does nobody want me? Is it, is it me? Some of y'all are actually finally doing some self-reflection. Like, I think it's me and I got to change who I am because if I don't, I'm going to be alone. Like, I'm for real. This is the stuff that's coming out of us right now, okay? And that's perfectly grand. That's that's actually righteousness awakening in your body because you now you want to be accountable. And, and people that want to be accountable and look at the shadow self will grow. That's what I just posted about the today, about really looking at your shadow self. You got to love yourself even for your dark side. And for you to love your dark side, you have to embrace your dark side, okay? You have to acknowledge it to embrace it. But if you see things in the dark side that you wish to rid yourself of, do that. See, we're supposed to have a dark side. you supposed to, this is my dark side. You're supposed to have a dark side, y'all. And you're supposed to be comfortable with that dark side. Cause it ain't all love and light. It's it's dark it's dark times to come in families. How much? Why do you think there's so much trauma in family? Cause anything associated with love has light and darkness in it. It's about balance. The my eye, let's get my unk out. It's about the balance in the my eye. It's the uh, it's life. It's the balance of it. That's really what all this represents. Which is I just posted a post last week. Well, this is the wound, and this is the phallus, and the strength that holds y'all together. I'm telling you, I love this aunt too. This is my baby, y'all. This is my baby. I'm supposed to be doing a reading, giving y'all a message. I feel like a message needs to be get out, but I feel the need to talk to. But yeah, I do. I have been feeling it. And that's another thing. As an empath, I can feel everybody. I'm for real. Like, wherever I am, I'm going to channel the emotions going on in that in that local area that I can, as far as I can reach. And the more people that are connected to me, and on the same frequency as me, it's going to spread that around to other people. All right? They're going to spread that around to other people, and it's going to attach too. All right? So if if y'all are sad, you know, if my people that follow me and really tune in with me, if y'all are experiencing things, I can feel that. So my, you know, as a healer, I have to put the message out to help bring y'all back to harmony and balance. So that means I have to take all the burdens and the weight of that. Once you step into this role, you ask to take the weight. Whoa. And that's why a lot of healers be going through stuff. Okay? Because we got to take a lot of weight. And we got to continue to be resilient to stay strong so we can keep continue to serve y'all. That was the sacrifice. That's another thing. That's the sacrifice. You know what? That's why, just keeping it real, I'm not, you know, even though I'm not religious, preachers, preachers' wives. People don't get that. A preacher's wife had to sacrifice. She had to realize that her husband was a server. And that it ain't, it ain't never that he don't love her. It's there. He needs her. 
it, it ain't never that he doesn't love her, but he has people he has to serve, he's responsible for, and he can never just be only for her. He has to always think about other people. So you have to be a selfless person of, to be in, be with a man like that. I'm talking about be with a man or a woman like that. That's another thing. People don't think that women have purposes like that. And when women have higher purposes sometimes than a man, or maybe y'all have equal values and purposes, but men just, you know, because the way this, this patriarchy is set up, men are supposed to control women and she's supposed to be up under you and she ain't really supposed to have no ambition. She's supposed to follow you. So you can't never be with her and, and support her and love her while she's in her rise and let her shine. Let's ring the bell on that. That's tough. So you got to choose between getting picked by a man or living your dreams when you want both. I just posted a video about that too, y'all. It's called Witch Prophecy. That song is so beautiful once you really see. I, I, Y'all, y'all know I'm an energy person. I'm going to see that symbolism and everything. I'm going to see that symbolism and everything. I already knew what she was talking about. Her king was out there with his daughter. They outside. That's all witchcraft is. You got to be in tune with the universe like you was when you was a child. Running around outside in the grass, you know, climbing trees like what I do, and I still do. I want to go to this thing in LA where you can climb this big old tree. Man, I used to have so many gifts that awakened me just climbing a tree and looking up to the sky. You don't know how that feels when you're climbing a tree because y'all ain't even climbed no tree since you was a kid. I used to climb trees my whole childhood and so many things, and I could see things too. Because you literally are not going to be looking through the physical eyes no more, it's all visionary, but you know where you're going. It's literally. For real, y'all. I'm serious. I've done it. I wasn't looking through the physical eyes no more. And I could see beyond something totally different. So I used to stay in trees all the time. In trees. I used to, I spent the night in trees, y'all, when I used to run away from home. I used to run away. Because it was just so, pre you know, it was heavy growing up. Like myself in my family is a Christian family. And I used to like uh, spend the night in a tree. I could climb trees. I could hide anywhere I wanted. I need to get back into that. <laughs> That's nothing. They show us that all the time on Tarzan, how they was in them trees. They got to whole other parts of the country from treetops. Man, I know it. That's in my ancestry. I know it's in my ancestry because I climbed trees like that all the time for real when I was a child, y'all. They used to make fun of me and call me a little monkey. Okay. I used to get made fun of for that. They used to call me a monkey, y'all. Just because I used to like to climb trees. Like, so the kids at school, I'd be climbing trees and they playing on the playground. But you don't know how much power is in climbing a tree. You don't know how awakened it is to climb a tree. You got to hold on to it, first of all. Pull your weight. It's like rock climbing. I love rock climbing, too. See, we got to get back into those things. Those are the things. If you see these shows where they be having rock climbers. Uh, now, the Skywalker, well, Skywalkers, they some troopers. They have, Skywalkers can elevate. That's why they can jump buildings and not die. How do you think they got the ability to do that? They elevated. They jump buildings. And then, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, rope, rope walkers, where they can walk ropes and not fall. They're in tune with their electromagnetic field on a whole nother level. They can literally push themselves back up, like on Dr. Strange. When y'all seen them doing that on Dr. Strange? Pushing themselves back up and everything with, with the elevation and energy around them. We can elevate y'all, but they are in, tapped into their supernatural powers. So when they show it to you on TV, they make it seem like it's some special sport. Yeah, it's a special sport, all right. A superpower. But we don't do those type of challenging things. Our communities all, you know, most of the time are full of clubs, you know, strip clubs, uh, bars, uh, abortion clinics, gun places alcohol is not set up to things to make you challenge so your brain can expand in life that's what they do you don't want to expand like i like going paddleboard i can't wait to go again when it get real hot go paddleboard man and learn how to balance on a board and still roll yourself and not fall baby and know how to sit down without the whole board tipping over it's the most balance you ever had in your life it's so therapeutic i've cried like i crave things that challenge me in those areas physically because physically as i get stronger you know and learn in my body i mentally do as well because this is all the brain experiencing life and figuring it out it's all the brain y'all so look i'm gonna go ahead and pull y'all i had to get deep real quick i'm gonna give y'all a quick reading real quick it is a message that needs to come out oh let me ring my bell air air 
water, spirits of universe, most high, higher sense, and spirit guides of white light. Please come into this space and provide harmony and balance to the collective. Hotel. Hotel, y'all, and Islam. All right. I had to give y'all a good spill. And then I'm going to pull. If y'all don't know me, you can follow me on TikTok as well at Goddess on the Rise. On TikTok, and it's the same logo that's on Follow Hootie Queen. So y'all can know who it is. It's me. And all my I've been uploading already, so it's all on there. And I appreciate y'all. Y'all, these are my real dope witch deck right here. Gracias, sis. Gracias. But yes, um, this is one of my favorite decks, y'all. This is my personal deck, actually. That's why I only pull this out every now and then. But yes, pulling out the cards. All right, first card coming in, y'all. Oh, two of gourds. Let's ring this bell. I told y'all the emotions was in. I told y'all. This is the two of cups. So some of y'all have really been in a place of wanting a mate and, and a companion. I'm serious. Like somebody has been experiencing loneliness and they've never experienced it before. So they don't know what it is. And they, they pretty much don't have no self-control. And they could even think they're losing their mind. Or, and they're beating themselves up about it because for the longest they may have pushed people away and sabotaged things in their life and maybe blamed everybody else. And now that they see that it wasn't all everybody else, it was them too. And they see their fault in it instead of only seeing other people's faults in it. That is the most crushing truth that they needed to help them with this breakthrough. And it's still troubling to them because they're trying not to think back and say, look at all that I missed out on or did I ruin my life? They are questioning everything. And the universe is here to tell you, you had to go through all that. That's the life experience of a prophet. Because you made it through though. Most people don't get here to the self-realization of the self. To reflect. The mirror is the most divine energy you can get to. Which is facing the shadow side. The dark side. You got to know who you are on the dark side. So you can know how you want to live in the light. And then you got to balance the dark side with your light. With the light always being the top priority. And the darkness, you will know when you need to go dark. Because you're going to be in balance. You're going to strive for the light so much that you're going to stay away from the dark side. It's going to be just a protection. Which is self, you know, what I call y'all defense against the dark arts. Nobody going to mess with you once you get to that balance point. Nobody going to mess with you. So that's that energy right there. Second card coming in. Ace of coins, baby. You getting this money. You getting this money. Don't worry about nothing. You don't work for it. You did everything you were supposed to do. And you did it for the right reasons. Which is for you and your growth. And on top of that, you probably want to help other people too. That's the truth. Somebody is a divine being here. You want to help yourself so you can help other people because you know what you done been through and you really don't want nobody else to go through that stuff no more let's ring the bell on that that's definitely a prophet if we got a prophet out here somewhere that's waking right now they're going through a lot of stuff but the universe saying we, they gonna be here to lift you up and just keep going just keep going and follow in your heart true statement listen to me that's why this two of course game out keep going and follow your heart that's man and that's woman Follow your heart and have the boundaries. All right. Let, oh my God. Third card coming in. Ten of gourds. Ten of gourds, y'all. The bottom line, you have completed this cycle. Somebody is in a big cleanse and you are cleansing. Somebody is really healing right now. They don't face their demons and them things been scaring, scaring them. Somebody's demons is scaring them right now. And you need to go ahead and talk to your ancestors. They already here for you. That's really this message. Your answers are telling you we're here with you every step of the way. But you got to go through this. And they here, but it do feel like they not, but they are. Because they had to step back for a minute. Because it's some things you got to learn right now. See, that's nothing. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, just like you got a mission in life, so do your answers is for you. And sometimes when we get off track in the 3D world, they got to step back. Because we still got a role to play regardless if they're going to be available or not. Because this is spiritual warfare. So, 
somebody is like they they want you to go through this by yourself one time because they want to see what you do because this time it's up to you oh this time it's up to you baby they like they're not in they're not interfering they job is done they got you the way they needed to get you they mission is complete not in life being there for you but giving you advice they like no nah, it's time to step up baby it's time it's time for you to make a decision and deal with the consequences of your actions Oh, you ain't got nobody to lean on no more. Somebody, they like, no, it's time for you to lean on you for real, for real. So somebody may be dealing with codependency right now. They didn't realize how codependent they were. Whoa. They thought they was, they thought they were stronger than other people, but they actually are not. Not in the sense that they thought because they actually just put their codependency with other things. It could be animals. It could be books. It could be a TV show that motivates you. But just, you know, but we, everybody depends on something. I don't care if it's a spiritual practice, if it's a sport, you have to have something to lean on. So somebody said, just because you may not attach yourself to people in the ways that they do, don't mean you don't have a codependency too. So somebody learned some serious lessons right now. Somebody's learned some serious lessons and it's specifically about themselves, which is the shadow self. And it is some she is or he look, it must be a she because I said she. See, when that happened, y'all was a she. So whoever this is, this could be a woman. Uh, you know, or a man, it don't matter because the feminine side, but whoever this is is really facing themselves and they actually being accountable. And now they having to learn how to forgive themselves. Man, listen. Just take your time. Take your time, okay? Take your time, like, but you gotta you gotta be in it. You're going to have to think, you know, address that you did these things even when you was blind and didn't know it. But you did these things. You did these things. You could have hurt people. And I said a lot of stuff you was doing, you could have been just hurting yourself the whole time and you didn't even know it. So somebody even was setting themselves up to get hurt with people. Because they didn't believe in love, I feel like. And they never had seen love truly, they thought. So they didn't think love existed. So somebody was a sabotager and would sabotage stuff. Somebody was sabotaging every relationship and just to prove themselves right that love don't exist. And now that stuff backfiring freaking quick. Somebody seeing some stuff. Somebody seeing everybody happy and then thought, realized it was me too. It was a lot of me mostly. So accountability, y'all. That's really what this message is about. About accountability, okay? Everybody got a dark side. Everybody wears a mask. Until the mask comes off. Until you look in the mirror. All right, and face you. That's what that stuff is really about, balancing the dark side. You got to fight you first. And you don't even know how strong you are on your dark side. Your dark side is strong. And once you get control of your dark side and use it for you in the light work, that's when you come superhuman, okay? As they say, an alien, all right? You're going to tell them demons what to do for you, which is a transmuting ability where you can transmute any type of energy you're faced with, negative or positive, into something blissful all right that's the genie energy too if you don't know that that is the genie energy that's what that energy really means all right because energy cannot be created or destroyed so we can't get rid of darkness it's not possible darkness was here first matter of fact that's why the space is dark all right everything is darkness so it was the night time before it was the sunlight y'all we created the light we created the light y'all we create the light. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. We are the creators of light. So we, and our natural nature is darkness. It's darkness first. But the goal is for light. So we live our life in the light. But we definitely thrive in our darkness. So look, that's all I got for y'all today. If y'all like this video, please like this and also share it. And if you also like to follow me on YouTube at Sacred Energy Exchange 222, y'all. I'm going to put all that information at the end of this video so y'all can go to it. And like I said, on TikTok, it's Goddess on the Rise, just like here. Uh, if you want to follow me on TikTok, I do like short clippings and stuff. Because I can't go live yet. You got to have so many followers like on YouTube. Until you get so many followers, I don't even know how many followers you got to get. You can't go live from TikTok. So all I can do is upload, but that's cool. And um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, check out my copper jewelry, y'all. Look, I'm going to raise my veil a little bit. Check out my Copper Jewelry. I am Goddess on the Rise. And you can check that out at Copper Queen. That's uh, Copper Queen going to have a, the number 33, Q-U-3-3-N. And that's on Instagram. 
And you can find me on Facebook at Goddess on the Rise or a jot to you. U D J A T C U. U D J A T C U. Goddess on the Rise and a jot to you. You'll be able to find me everywhere. That's 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 it. And check out my copper jewelry, y'all. The healing properties of it. I do have education on how how spiritually it is for you and how scientifically it is for you on my other page. I don't really flood this page with that information. I have a page for that. And I have some videos that y'all can educate yourself on it too because copper is our element. All right? So thank y'all so much. I'm going to ring this bell and send this energy back to your light. And one more thing, if you would like to book a reading with me, it's Sacred Energy Exchange 222 at gmo.com. Book those readings, y'all. And I definitely recommend my Ascension one. All right? All right. Earth. Air, fire, water, spirit. Till next time, peace, love, and balance.